Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we started understanding CSS specificity. In the previous video tutorial, we discussed what happens when we define set of style rules for a specific tag in external, internal as well as inline styles. The answer is rules gets cascade. There are two important rules of a cascade that we must and should remember. They are more specific selectors properties override less specific selectors properties. Nearest properties override farthest properties when specificity is equivalent. Finally, for every tag, a virtual declaration list is created by combining all properties from all selectors. That virtual declaration list styles are going to be applied on that specific HTML tag. In the previous video tutorial, we understood that CSS specificity is used to determine which selector is more specific than other selectors, right? What is CSS specificity? Specificity is the value calculated by examining the selector part of a CSS rule set. This line is important friends. We already know the syntax of CSS rule set. That is, we write a selector, it may be a tag selector, class selector, group selector, id selector, combination selector. In flower bracket, we put declaration list. Specificity is the value calculated by examining the selector part of the CSS rule set. By seeing the selector part, you can see, you can tell this selector is more specific than the other selector, something like that. If the calculated specificity of a selector gets more points, then that selector is considered as more specific. The calculated specificity of a selector gets more point, then that selector is considered as more specific. So, remember more specific selector wins over the less specific selectors. Okay? The CSS specificity for a selector is determined by five important positions. Here in the MS Paint, I have five positions you can see in a bracket. First position, second position, third position, fourth position, and fifth position. From the left hand side, if you say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. If you are calculating from the right hand side, you can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. Okay. CSS specificity is calculated by examining the selector part of the CSS rule set. Okay. In the selector part, if you find one element selector, then in this position you have to write 1. If you find 2 element selectors, then you write here 2. If you find 3 element selectors, you write here 3. If you find 1 pseudo element, if you find 1 pseudo element, then you write here 1. If you find 2 pseudo elements, you write here 2. If you find 1 element selector, 1 pseudo element selector, then you write here 2. I hope you guys are understanding. This position is dedicated for element selector and pseudo element selector from the right hand side first position okay in the selector if you find one class selector in the second position here you write one if you find two class selectors you write here two if you find one pseudo class you write here one if you write two pseudo classes you write here two if you find three pseudo classes you write here three if you find one attribute selector, you write here 1. If you find two attribute selector, you write here 2. If you find one class selector, one pseudo class, one attribute selector, you write here 3. I hope you guys are understanding. In this position or in these boxes, you should write numbers from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, like that in an incremental order. In the selector, if you find one ID selector, you write here 1. If you find two ID selectors, you write here two. Okay. Inline style, if you have used the inline style in an HTML element, then you write here one. If you are using exclamation mark important, in this box you write one. If you find two exclamation mark important, you write here two. In the remaining positions, you should write zero. Okay. We see anyhow, step by step, you get a clear idea. Okay. Let me go to the Word document. Here I have listed the specificity for different selectors exclamation mark important if you have one exclamation mark important in the CSS rule set you just write here one in the remaining positions you write 0000, 0, 0, 0. 
inline styles are going to be written here in the from the right hand side fourth position you write one that means inline styles are going to have 1000 points you can say like that id selector if you have one you write here one in the third position from the right hand side or from the left hand side anyhow so id selector are going to have 100 points you can say like that okay similarly class selector you write in the second position from the right hand side one if there is a one attribute selector you write here one if there is a pseudo class selector you write here one so class selector id uh, attribute selector and pseudo classes are going to have 10 points you can say element selector and pseudo elements are going to have one point so on the last box you write here one that is how you can calculate the specificity friends highest specificity is given to exclamation mark important because it has 10000 points you can see the next specificity is inline styles okay here i have written some examples so that we can be able to calculate the specificity for css rule set here you can see p then in flower brackets i have background color red if i have to calculate the specificity for this selector p we are going to write like this we have one element selector so in the position of element selector i write one in other positions we write zero then here if you observe this css rule set selector part we find one element so i have written here one then one class selector here i have written one and remaining positions we have zero if you observe this css rule selector we have one element selector so here i have written one one id selector here i have written one in other positions we have zero anyhow if you use a inline style in the inline style place we write one and in the remaining positions we put zero similarly if you see this example here we have one element selector i have written one as well as for the background color red we have used exclamation mark important so in the exclamation mark important position i have written one and the remaining positions we have zero right let's see the demonstration i go to the notepad here i have default dot html page with the basic html document structure written and we have in the body section one paragraph text and uh, title is set to css specificity demo i have already opened the default.html page in the google chrome title is set to css specificity demo and we have one paragraph text let me go to the style tag here i am going to write p opening flower bracket closing flower bracket and then i say here border of 2px double red border i am telling to the browser locate any paragraph in this page apply the border to px double red can you tell me the specificity for this selector simple i am going to use forward slash star star forward slash forward slash star star forward slash indicates uh, comments in css friends like uh, in html we use less than exclamation mark dash 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 greater than sign for indicating the comments in css we use forward slash star star forward slash indicate comment so in between these you can write whatever you want that is going to be ignored by the browser okay the specificity for this selector is 0,0,0,0,1 because we have one element selector here i have one and the remaining positions are filled by zero at present the paragraph is going to have the double red border file save good browser and refresh you can see that the paragraph text has double red border let proceed further here i am going to say body greater than sign p in flower bracket i am going to say border of 2px solid red semicolon this time you can observe here i am using two element selectors what i am telling to the browser locate a body element if it has the direct child p of course this p is the direct child of the body hence you should apply the border to px solid red now of course we are going to have the solid red border because this code is more nearer than this right and here i write the specificity for a slash star in brackets 0,0,0,0,2 bracket star for a slash because as we have two html elements 
in the element selector position i have written 2 and the remaining position i have placed 0 and also you can observe this has the more specificity than this selector right file save go to browser and refresh you can see now we have the solid red border even though i change the position if i cut it from here and place it above this selector has less specificity it has one point whereas this selector has two specificity two points so this is more specific than this selector hence it is going to win always whether you place it above or below file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we are still having the solid red border i hope you guys are understanding what i am explaining here let me say control x and paste it down back i hope you guys are understanding now what is the meaning of specificity how it is helpful to calculate the specificity of a selector and how we can assume which style is going to be applied to a specific element let me write one more code here this time i am going to tell to the browser something different i use a class this time i am using a class attribute and i say here dotted border class attribute value here i say dot dotted b o r d e r border in flower brackets i am going to say border of 2px dotted i am telling to the browser locate any html element if it has a class attribute value set to dotted border apply the paragraph text with dotted red border of course if you calculate the specificity for this selector we are going to write like this right forward slash star in bracket 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 bracket close star forward slash you can observe that the class selector position is the second position we have only one class selector here so here i am going to write one right if you observe this selector has highest specificity than this and this selector hence it is going to win friends now this time the paragraph text is going to have the dotted red border file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the paragraph text has a dotted red border no matter where you write for example i cut this from here and i paste it in the beginning here file save even though this css rule set is very far away from this paragraph still it is going to win because this has the highest specificity it has 10 points this has only one this has two points so it is going to win friends file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we have the dotted red border only i hope you guys are understanding clearly now everything let me paste it down here okay now i am going to say still more specific p dot dotted b o r d e r border in flower brackets i say border of 2px dotted green border for this if you calculate the specificity we are going to say like this for a slash star in brackets i say 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 bracket close then star for a slash of course you see there is one element selector so here i write one one class selector here i write one now if you observe this selector has more specificity than this selector right it has 10 points it has 11 points so this is going to win friends this time the paragraph is going to have dotted green border spelling mistake here we have dotted border file save go to browser and refresh you can see that green border is applied even though if i write it in the beginning control x and paste here as it has the highest specificity it is going to win whether it is far or nearer file save go to browser and refresh you can see that still the paragraph text has the green dotted border that is how you calculate the css specificity and decide which css rule is going to be applied on an html element let's write something more specific this time i say body if it has a direct child p and if it has the class attribute value set to dotted border then apply the border of 2px dotted blue semicolon 
Can you calculate the CSS specificity for this now? Of course, it is very easy. Forward slash star in brackets 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, bracket close star forward slash. How many element selectors are there here? Body and P. So here we write two element selectors are there. How many class selectors we have? Only one. So here we write one. If you observe here, this is more specific than this, 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 anyone. So it is going to win. Now the paragraph text is going to have the dotted blue border, right? File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the paragraph text has the dotted blue border. I think you are understanding what is the meaning of specificity, how you calculate the specificity. First one for element selector and pseudo elements, second one for class selector, attributes and pseudo classes. Let's write something else. This time I am going to take help of an ID. So I use here ID attribute and to the ID attribute I give the value double border and here I say hash d-o-u-b-l-e double border in flower brackets I say border p-o-r-d-e-r border of 2px double red semicolon can you able to calculate the specificity for this it is easy for slash star in brackets I say 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 bracket close star forward slash we know that if there is one ID selector in the third position we write one and if you observe the above selectors and this selectors it has the highest specificity it has 100 points the above one is 12, 11, 10 right so it has the highest specificity hence the paragraph text is going to have the red double border. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that red double border is applied to the paragraph text. If you write it above anywhere, control X, you write it anywhere you want. Okay. If I write it here also, it is going to win friends. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Still we have the red double border. I hope you guys are understanding what I am explaining here. It's quite simple friends. Calculating the specificity and understanding which rule is going to be applied to an HTML element. Let me write still more specific. I say locate any paragraph if it has the ID double border. Then apply the border of 2px double green color. We can calculate the specificity for this. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, then I say here bracket star forward slash. Here we have one element selector, I write here one. Here we have one ID selector, in the third position I write one. File, save. This time you can see it has the highest specificity than any other selector here. So we are going to have for this paragraph double green border. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that double green border is applied to the paragraph text. We can write still more specific, right? I can copy this, paste it down and here I say locate any body element if it has the direct child called P and if it has the ID double border then apply the border to PX double blue color, B-L-U-E. If I need to calculate the specificity, of course there are two element selectors so I write two here, one ID selector I write here one. Now it has the highest specificity, body, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that blue double border is applied. That is how you can calculate the CSS specificity. What if I say here something like this, if there is a HTML element, if it has the direct child called as a body and if that body has the direct child P, if it has the ID double border, then apply it uh, pink color border. Then of course we have three elements so here I should write three one ID selector one so 103 points for this selector friends. It has the highest specificity now. Go to browser and refresh you can see that pink double border is applied to the paragraph. Similarly we can perform more operations friend. Let me go here and use the style property uh, style attribute and I say here border of 2px solid red semicolon file save go to browser and refresh 
you can see that now we have a solid red border because inline style has 1000 points right we know that inline style has 1000 points so it is going to have highest specificity than id class element right i hope you guys are understanding why the inline style wins here right and one more thing is if i say anywhere in these selectors anywhere in these selectors for example here i use exclamation mark important exclamation mark important is having the highest specificity friends so it is going to have 10000 one point now right this style actually is going to have 10000 one point this rule is going to have 10000 one point this selector has only one point but this style or a rule is having the 10000 one point so it is going to win now file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we have double red border because here we have double red border i hope you guys have understood how to calculate css specificity where you put what values and how do you determine which style is going to be applied on an html element remember that when two selector specificity is same then the nearest rule is going to win and two more points that you need to remember with respect to specificity or writing the selectors is try to reduce the specificity of a selector try to reduce the specificity of a selector okay never use exclamation mark important until and unless it is necessary okay try to use exclamation mark important very 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 less times okay if there is no other way if you don't have any other selector to modify the style for an html element at that time you can use exclamation mark important for example you might be developing plugins and all then uh, always try to create selectors in uh, having the less specificity so that uh, the user of that plugin can be able to modify those styles according to his requirements these two points you should remember try to reduce the specificity of a selector and use that never use exclamation mark important until and unless it is necessary Hope you guys have understood CSS specificity in detail and in depth. If you have any doubts, please don't hesitate to post comment. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we get more information on CSS. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.